Colin, um, we decided we wanted to have a baby and we didn't know of any fertility issues that we might have. So instead of going to see a normal um, gynecologist, I decided to come and see Colin and uh, just said to him, you know, we want to get, we want to have a baby within the next year. Uh, we don't want to find out we've got hassles six months or a year down the line. So we just came to see you just to see how we can have the most um, healthy and sort of um, pleasant pregnancy possible. And that's how we came to see Colin. So it wasn't particularly difficult because I think after that it took about three months to fall pregnant. I actually read an article in a magazine about an advert um, and then I mean I phoned up and I asked some questions from the pharmacist and I didn't really follow it up after that and about four or five months later um, we, we were arranging our wedding and we said okay well let's you know tie the two things up maybe it will work out and yeah that the flatty boost worked I mean after four months yeah we sit now 28th of this, uh, September is the daughter born it was shock it was amazement it was it was it was truly a blessing yeah because um, we've been trying for so long and it didn't seem possible that it could come true uh, approximately about four to five years uh, before we eventually fell pregnant with her here well, it was, uh, yeah, it was almost disbelief because it was a third pregnancy test, I think, and the first two came out negative, so it was quite a surprise and very, very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. I think we were just completely overjoyed. You know, he was very wanted, so when we found out that Nikki was pregnant, we were over the moon. Um, well, life changes. Um, your wife is pregnant, you know, you go through that where we battle, we use uh, 30 boost and, and um, it did something, that things fall into place and we just hoped for the best and, and eventually yeah, it happened and we realized we're pregnant. So, but yes, at 12 weeks, I tell you, we went on a, a proper test at the uh, uh, gynae and he said everything is perfect, the heartbeat, the, you could see the little human being um, actually the on the arms, and legs, and the arms and legs and you know it's so amazing it's, it's a miracle um, you know I think I, I, I'm quite outspoken about it because um, I felt that it didn't help to hide it away you know initially in the beginning I did you know I didn't uh, I don't want children you know leave me alone but uh, with time you eventually start saying look um, I, can't, I can't have children no leave me alone you know um, yeah, so it's, I mean, for my family, it's an absolute miracle. I was diagnosed with severe endometriosis when I was 19, but in that stage, I didn't know it was called endometriosis. Then I got married when I was 21, and after that, we were trying to, for me to fall pregnant, and every year, we just went past it. And every year, basically, I had to go for operation and laparoscopy to try and remove the growth on the ovaries and on various parts of the body inside of my organs. And, and it just never happened. And it went on for eight years. And then I heard about Colin from a friend of mine. And it was, he was on Carte Blanche. And yeah, well, I thought, Let's try it. I came down, I saw him, he gave me treatment for a, uh, for a month and 30 boost for two months treatment to go on. Uh, that time Andrew didn't go on it um, and then I was in, on the 31st of December 2004, I found out I was pregnant. We went to a gynecologist and uh, tests were done on both of us, you know, just to see how it was. Um, at first, uh, problems were picked up with me um, in terms of the polycystic ovarian syndrome, etc. And, um, and my gynecologist gave me options, etc. He was actually a fertility specialist. Um, and then tests were run on Vishal as well, and problems were also found out with him. So it, was, it, it became quite a challenge, um, and, uh, etc. And eventually, um, last year, we decided let's give Fertility Boost a try. And uh, we tried it, both Vishal and I. I had to 
make sure he took his tablets in the morning. You know, men don't want to take pills and pop pills, etc. And we just, we just said whatever's going to happen will happen. And what happened was that I actually felt pregnant the first time, um, about five months after using the product, which was the first time that I had ever fallen pregnant. And, and there she is, this beautiful blessing um, that we've, we've come with. Turn 43 exactly a month after she was born. Um, I think the level of stress affects women today much more than we anticipate, and that in turn um, changes the way your body actually functions. And all the tests the doctors do really show that your body is not producing young eggs anymore, so to speak, and the ability to fall pregnant just becomes a lot more difficult. And I've been through quite a number of procedures. It was a long journey for four years. I think also it just takes that dreadful pressure off. You know, when I first went to see Colin, it was before he'd even begun the life centre, and we drove out of Joburg at 6 o'clock in the morning, and he was able to fit us in at 12 o'clock on a Saturday. We were there for three hours as he explained to us all these sort of things together. My husband was terrified that he was going to give him um, acupuncture. <laughs> said, I'll do anything but not needles, not needles. And um, yeah, I think that he just took away that stress. He took away half the pills that I took and he just said, take it easy. Fine, just like taking daily vitamins, no problem. We didn't have to go through the very intensive treatment. Um, I know people come for a lot of acupuncture. I think I just said acupuncture twice. Zach didn't have to come in at all, so it was really just like taking a, a vitamin boost for him and then I came in a couple of times to see Colin. I think what happens with um, a, lot of, a lot of people who do end up with infertility problems is that they don't do anything about possible fertility issues before they start trying to fall pregnant. So what happens is they try and fall pregnant for a year, they're now completely desperate by the time it comes to actually realizing there's a problem and then a route like this which maybe does take a bit more time um, becomes not an option because they want a quick fix. So that's why you end up with IVF and sort of uh, non-natural routes. Whereas I think if you start out with this, you're going to hopefully avoid those problems and give yourself a little bit more time as well. I mean, women nowadays are trying to fall pregnant much later than they would have, say, 10 years ago. Um, and we wanted to have our first baby by 30, and we only started trying at 29. So if we'd had any problems, we could have only had our first baby at 35. We, the approach that I took, I uh, obviously was trying to get healthily, lay off the alcohol, the, all the bad things in life, and try to get some sort of balance. Um, we didn't want to go the traditional medical route. I mean, I'm a firm believer in alternative medicine. And obviously after watching um, the program, uh, we decided to, you know, instead of going through traditional medical, go straight into the, the alternative remedies. and. Uh, yeah, that's what we did straight away. Uh, when we first got to Colin, obviously we had a consultation when we you know, looked at exactly what was wrong, the, the stresses and the balance in my life, uh, and then went through the whole um, sort of program to see where we could change things, and then obviously started on the to boost medication. And then it was just coming in and, and just getting that balance and really trying to control the stress levels. It was definitely the, the main focus was on controlling stress, which I managed to do quite well. Um, and then, yeah, six months later, everything was actually quite fine again. Because we did everything together, then it was a contributing part of us falling pregnant and our um, general better health. So, yeah, I definitely recommend taking it. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to, to succeed without it. And you don't take the fertility boost, you should try and get healthy before you fall pregnant. Definitely. The system has proved itself, so we'll definitely be trying to do to replicate what we have done before. And because we've been trying to have a child for so long, obviously my age is a contributing factor as well. I'm now 40, and we need to have a child um, to have a second child as soon as possible. Um, I've always been pretty healthy because I've always gone more the alternative um, route. So pretty fit, um, we eat a very healthy diet, um, so there was no reason to think that, that we would necessarily have a problem. Yeah. 
Um, I think for for both of us, you know, it, it, it was quite important that Nikki had a, a healthy and as natural pregnancy as possible, um, all the way from conception right through to birth.